Dr. Alexander Bishkov will deliver a talk, his talk lecture on nuclear fuel cycles. Uh, Alexander, good, please. Good morning, dear colleagues. Uh, uh, now I would like to uh, provide some information related to uh, my favorite subject, the nuclear fuel cycle. I uh, told first day that uh, last month, no, no, end of October, I had the celebration of my 40 years in the nuclear, official, uh, due to my diploma also was connected to uh, some uh, uh, nuclear subject, separation of lithium isotopes. Uh, it's very interesting in the beginning of 80s. And uh, later, I worked many, many years in the area of uh, closed fuel cycle of fast reactors with uh, pyro process, enviro packing fuel, uh, transmutation, and so on, so on, so on. And uh, 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 my expertise uh, growth taken into account specific of my institute where I worked uh, 29 years uh, uh, research institute of atomic reactors in Dimitrovgrad. It is one of um, complex institute there we had uh, six uh, research reactors uh, biggest in the Euro Asia material science laboratory a uh, special complex for production of isotopes, taking into account production of californium. It's only two um, uh, manufacturers of californium in the world, uh, Oak Ridge and Dimitrovgrad. And of course, facility for production of MOX fuel and pyrochemical reprocessing. It also was a unique period. Uh, we in the uh, Soviet Union and later in Russia, it's only one organization that really worked with uh, power grade plutonium, uh, with accumulated of few americium and so on, so on, so on. And uh, so I worked in the area of fuel cycle many, many years. So I remind uh, some very simple things. We, and as usual, we understand on the nuclear fuel cycle, traditional chain uh, for uh, mining of uranium, uh, preparation to uh, enrichment or production of fuel, so including milling, conversion, uh, enrichment, or maybe production of fuel directly from uh, uh, natural uranium for uh, heavy water reactors, uh, fuel fabrication, uh, uh, using of fuel in nuclear reactors, and uh, spent uh, nuclear fuel management which uh, uh, can include also some processes. As usual, we split uh, uh, fuel cycle on front end. Uh, it's all operation with pure, pure uranium, or maybe in future pure thorium, and back end, uh, uh, all operation uh, with irradiated materials, uh, spent fuel, plutonium, uh, later maybe um, uh, some uh, minor actinides. And of course, uh, Currently, we have two philosophy of nuclear fuel cycle for uranium. I would like to underline one through open fuel cycle and uh, closed fuel cycle when uh, some products of uh, after uh, irradiation uh, should be recycled in this system. So, uh, uh, if you um, uh, remind uh, my previous lecture the f uh, share of uh, uh, fuel part and electricity, nuclear electricity, not so high. But uh, as all importance, uh, all uh, parts of uh, 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 nuclear industry, it's very important. Without fuel, we cannot receive chain reactions, uh, reaction, and we cannot receive uh, neutron, we cannot receive electricity. So uh, fuel cycle also uh, one of, no, key part of uh, nuclear industry, nuclear uh, power. And of course, uh, mm, the uh, fuel cycle and fuel cycle facility in comparison of nuclear power plant is more flexible systems. And uh, of course, uh, in comparison of reactor, reactors, uh, we can uh, mm, uh, modify it, uh, update uh, some technological process, some systems uh, more, uh, um, more often. Uh, and uh, I would like as uh, first part of my uh, lecture to demonstrate uh, some trends uh, 
on the basis of last 20, 30 years, where uh, uh, slow uh, uh, slow implementation of some innovations gave uh, real uh, a result in the economic and safety of fuel cycle. Of course, I would like to underline safety. Oh, it's uh, uh, improvement of uh, fuel cycle. First of all, uh, nuclear safety is a key line. A uh, number of nuclear fuel cycle, uh, fuel and fuel cycle aspects, of course, affect on uh, nuclear safety in different meanings of this point. Economics is also very important. Non-proliferation, unfortunately, uh, production of uh, weapon-grade materials, it belongs to fuel cycle. And uh, resources, resources for future development of nuclear power. Uh, of course, uh, uh, from point of view of safety, we should consider two uh, aspects. First, it's operational safety, it's uh, using of uh, nuclear uh, fuel in nuclear reactors, and uh, so name uh, long-term environmental safety uh, uh, connected to uh, spent fuel uh, and its specific. So you know, I think you know, uh, the traditional uh, technology for production of uh, pellet fuel uh, for uh, reactors. It is usual, all reactors, uh, not all, not all reactors now uh, under operation with uh, uh, pellet fuel, but it's more than 99%. Or well, maybe some uh, fuels for research reactors uh, and uh, uh, mainly research and pilot reactors can work with uh, a different type of fuel. It's a traditional uh, system, an understandable system, a lot of uh, uh, plants in the world, uh, uh, that uh, can produce uh, fuel. But uh, the uh, uh, experts and specialists who work in this area uh, continuously uh, work in uh, two uh, specific points. One, it's uh, uh, quality control, impro improvement of quality control on the all stages of uh, production of fuel. And next, uh, fuel improvement, uh, improvement of quality of fuel and uh, uh, its uh, characteristics. It's a very interesting picture. Uh, uh, the agency every five years published, collected and published data about uh, uh, fuel rods failures uh, in uh, nuclear power plants. It, we have not yet uh, data for officially published data regarding uh, the period from uh, 2016 till 2020. But uh, you can see uh, this tendency uh, during the last 35 years. The drop of failures is really uh, impressive. And uh, the idea of uh, uh, some companies, uh, type of Eastern Gauss, Twell, to reach so name zero uh, uh, failure is really uh, no, it's ambitious, but uh, it Truly speaking, it's possible to uh, find a decision then uh, fuel will work without any uh, failures. Uh, here is a direct effect to safety of um, reactors, well, not from point of view of uh, severe accident, but take into account release of um, uh, radioactive gases and some uh, accidents of those three levels. Uh, and a uh, big effect to, for a reduction of uh, radioactivity of uh, uh, low level and uh, medium uh, 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 level uh, waste uh, from a reactor. So uh, it's expert, um, uh, specialist in the fuel works in area of improvement of uh, current uh, fuel fabrication for PWRs, for BWRs, or BMK, VWR, uh, pressurized water reactor system, light, uh, oh, light metal fast reactors, all others, it's old fuel. And main lines for improvement now, extension of radiation period. You know, uh, it also has a very important effect for economic and uh, oh, 
if uh, you have reloading period 12 months or 18 months, of course, in that case, uh, uh, the uh, uh, loading fa factor of reactors should be increased, could be increased and increased. Uh, so high burn-up also in, uh, connected with uh, these uh, factors and economic factors. Of course, the fuel is more expensive, but uh, the uh, growth of fuel price uh, is less than uh, uh, um, benefits uh, from this uh, new fuel. It's a very important point. Uh, burning absorbers, it's also uh, very important uh, uh, additions uh, for, uh, for establishing of more uh, reliable uh, uh, radiation uh, behavior it's pro program. And, uh, of course, uh, increasing of enrichment if you would like to have uh, high burn-up and extension of irradiation period. And uh, uh, a new line, a very important line, uh, after Fukushima accident, uh, a lot of experts in the world uh, uh, facilitated uh, uh, the subjects on name accident tolerant fuel. If taken into account history of fuel development, we can find, I can say that now, no new technological ideas. But uh, it's mainly uh, all different ideas who were generated in the 60s and 70s. But industry is industry. Industry is a very conservative system. Uranium dioxide pellets, quality control, and work. But, but if you would like to avoid uh, some strong effect, uh, 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 during uh, loss of coolant accident, uh, of course, uh, it's much better to uh, implement some uh, more uh, mm, stable fuel that can work uh, uh, in uh, these uh, accident conditions uh, without any uh, important, uh, no, I I I without any uh, effect uh, uh, to release of radioactivity and so on, so on, so on. Of course, uh, uh, this uh, fuel uh, uh, would be uh, useful for generation for two. And now in the world we have a lot of activities and um, the, the uh, uh, big uh, radiation programs continue in US and uh, uh, Russian Federation. So uh, key uh, manufacturer of fuel um, in the world uh, continue this activity. OECD NEA uh, published some years ago very huge report about uh, analysis of different conceptions. But I will not explain in detail. Second point related uh, safety of fuel cycle, of course, connected uh, with uh, uh, disposal of uh, radioactive uh, oh, spent fuel or radioactive waste generated after reprocessing of this fuel. This picture. Uh, I see this picture as minimum twice in your uh, posters, and uh, uh, some uh, our colleague also mentioned this important uh, picture. Uh, uh, if we can uh, remove from the fuel before uh, uh, disposal uh, minor actinides and plutonium, we can reach so name. Um, uh, radiological equivalent, radio equivalent of radiotoxicity uh, with uh, uranium ore after 300 years of uh, uh, life of this uh, high-level waste. Oh, plutonium recycling uh, can give us 10,000 years, but uh, uh, decreasing dropping of radioactivity uh, in uh, spent fuel and used fuel after direct disposal, it's uh, close to million years. Of course, 10,000 million, it is not uh, predictable from engineering point of view, but 300 years, it's, uh, truly speaking, we, uh, till now we have uh, some uh, burials uh, with uh, very dangerous things, uh, for example, after some epidemic in Europe that, uh, not truly speaking, cannot affect uh, and to uh, uh, population now. Which is one of example. Uh, and uh, take into account uh, Egyptian pyramids and uh, some 
uh, ancient uh, monuments. It's possible to predict behavior of materials uh, uh, during this year. So, yes, of course, optimistic, Vladimir, Vladimir. I, I, I can say as, as chemist techno uh, technologists, if you will, for example, have solid fuel, each cycle of re reprocessing will give us losses of minor actinides and plutonium, and uh, truly speaking, the, this line will move slowly. <laughs> but, but it is key tendency, and uh, uh, a lot of uh, experts uh, worked and uh, are working in this area for uh, reducing of some uh, burden for future uh, generations. So, next point, uh, very briefly, to avoid production of high-enriched uranium and uh, weapon-grade plutonium. Of course, here, um, it's uh, enrichment factories and uh, reprocessing facilities uh, can be uh, centers of uh, production of these materials. And so, here, as usual, uh, in the world, we use so name institutional approaches uh, uh, to avoid uh, any uh, unauthorized uh, production of uh, 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 these materials. But unfortunately, in history, we have uh, some examples. Some countries uh, 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 were not uh, signed the non-proliferation treaty and uh, uh, start the uh, nuclear program. But in, uh, in the agency and in INPRA also, uh, we uh, uh, try to um, uh, develop some uh, criteria, some system for evaluation of reactor and fuel cycle system for avoiding of uh, uh, production of high-enrich uranium and plutonium. Next, economics. Economics, of course, uh, 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 connected to whole part of uh, fuel cycle from mining till uh, operation. I mentioned some effects. And so uh, here I would like to briefly explain uh, that during the last 40 or 50 years we have a uh, uh, relatively good tendency in uh, uranium exploration, uh, a very specific uh, uh, change of technology in area of uranium mining by um, uh, in-situ leaching technology, improvement of uh, uh, process for uh, enrichment, I also will, will explain, and of course development and improvement technology for fuel manufacturing from uh, reprocessed materials, uranium and plutonium. And of course, uh, MOX fuel is one of key technology for not only for current recycling, but for far, um, future fast reactor technology. And uh, of course, generation for reactors demand advanced fuel technology. I will explain uh, uh, this uh, point uh, in some details. First of all, uranium exploration. If consider a uh, traditional system for uh, exploration of uranium uh, accepted, oh, I think, till 80s, 1980s. As usual, it's traditional geological uh, studies uh, with expedition and so on, so on, so on. But now we have so sensitive equipment uh, that can be used uh, uh, for analysis of uh, radon uh, on uh, different layers, and uh, uh, if we uh, can find uh, some increasing of radon content in the, in the air, of course we can say, oh, here we have uh, some prob probability uh, that here we have thorium or uh, uranium uh, uh, deposits. It's really a uh, big economical effect in comparison of old uh, technology. Uh, geophysical methods, uh, including uh, radiometry and some other, other things. Next, and so, uh, uh, I, I worked uh, in the nuclear industry many years. I remember in the 80s and uh, 70s, many people told about, oh, we will have not enough uranium for development of nuclear power. Of course, oh, sorry, it's, but uh, take into account uh, new uh, geological uh, studies, uh, investigations, uh, now we can understand that uh, during next uh, 50, 40, 60 years, we have enough uranium for uh, nuclear power. 
take into account their interesting effect. For example, we, now we consider some uh, mining places as very expensive. But after, uh, start, uh, after initiating of uh, uh, mining process and production of uh, uranium concentrate, the prices uh, can uh, drop. Next, uh, very, oh, sorry, uh, next very important, but I think it's also a revolutionary step. <coughs> it was not visible from point of view of, uh, but it's uh, mining methods. We had in history open pit systems. In the world, we have a lot of places where uh, till now uh, these uh, places should, uh, should be remediated. Underground system, the tunnel, uh, extraction of some ore, but uh, I would like to underline that you know, the ore with 1% of uh, uranium, it is, it's rich ore. So uranium, it's, uh, it is not, uh, no, it's, uh, it's element distributed uh, 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 in geological uh, uh, formations, uh, and uh, uh, it has no uh, some concentrated systems. Uranium and thorium, uh, from point of view of so named Clark, uh, uh, the content of these materials in the uh, air core, uh, they is not, oh, for example, bismuth, bismuth maybe, it's more, uh, uh, ha has less quark than uranium or thorium. I a little bit forgot, but some elements that we have in the practice, uh, manganese, man manganese maybe, it also has uh, the similar uh, uh, content uh, in uh, the, uh, of core. Hmm, maybe I mean. But here is technology of uh, in situ leaching. Uh, uh, it's, oh, sorry. Uh, there are some special tubes, pressed uh, uh, chemical uh, solution, and uh, uh, dissolve uranium and some uh, other elements. And important point: uh, 40 years ago, in uh, in the report of uh, the agency, uh, we fixed that only. 28% of uh, mined uranium uh, was produced by uh, uh, this uh, uh, attract uh, environmentally attractive technology. But now uh, we close to two thirds of uh, product production of uranium by these methods. Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, some new mining facilities in Africa. Uh, uh, Canada also changed uh, uh, the technology and step by step, we uh, avoid uh, very uh, specific uh, and long-term effect on uh, environment. Till now, for example, in Soviet Union, we had a lot of uh, uh, places uh, for uh, open pit mining. And uh, after uh, completion of this uh, activity, uh, the uh, tails uh, were covered by special systems, but uh, uh, in the uh, beginning of the 90s, after uh, destroying of Soviet Union, all these uh, systems uh, stayed without any security, and uh, we received two effects. One, um, the uh, standards related uh, uh, environmental protection uh, now more stronger, but from the other hand, uh, many Local people try to find some metals, uh, some scraps in these areas, and uh, these areas were uh, destroyed. And uh, uh, Commonwealth of Independent States, European Union support uh, f to remediation uh, of uh, similar things in uh, Central Asia. But if we will use this technology, of course, uh, we can reduce drastically the problem related. Uh, uh, environmental effect of uranium mining. It's a good tendency. Uh, next uh, point in enrichment. Currently, and in history, historically, enrichment uh, process it is 25 or 50 percent of fuel cycle, all fuel cycle. It's more expensive. Why? It's mm, differences between uh, uranium 238 and 230. Uh, uh, five, take into account uh, um, uh, the uh, six uh, atoms of um, uh, fluoride, um, uh, fluorine. Uh, uh, we have very, very uh, uh, small 
um, uh, separation factors in any technologies. But uh, we have uh, very uh, good uh, uh, features of uranium to have uh, uh, gas, uh, 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 gaseous uh, uh, compound uh, uranium hexafluoride. And, uh, of course, first, uh, uh, first facilities. Oh, I lost one slide. Sorry. Uh, okay, so I, I think. Uh, 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 first facilities uh, uh, include the so named diffusional process diffusion of uh, gases uh, through membrane and uh, separation. Um, uh, by this process. It's necessary, you know, for example, to reach uh, four uh, percent of enrichment, it's necessary to have 1,500, uh, 400 uh, procedures. So it's necessary to have very big cascades, system for operation of this cascade, and to receive. And a lot of electricity for gas diffusion. But uh, from other hand, uh, uh, centrifugal process also uh, was uh, calculated, suggested, but unfortunately, the, uh, during very long period, uh, uh, world in industry had no uh, uh, system for very precise mechanic uh, uh, mechanics with uh, graphite uh, uh, centrifuge but step by step and now we have very interesting picture ah first of all i would like to underline that centrifuge process is very cheap uh, from point of view of consumption of electricity uh, gas diffusion plant as usual had uh, um, uh, a power plant near, uh, for example, in France, uh, in uh, some first uh, facility in Soviet Union. Uh, but centrifugal process uh, request very, very, in, in comparison of gas diffusion process for uh, so name one unit for uh, separation of uh, uranium, it's. Uh, more than uh, 500 uh, times uh, less. And so, uh, slowly, industry changed uh, uh, this process. And if compare 2000 and 2015, in 2000, the uh, f uranium enriched market uh, covered 50% by diffusion uh, plant, 40% by centrifuge, and 10% it was uh, excessive uh, uh, weapon grade uranium. But uh, uh, last years, we uh, uh, on the market receive uh, mainly only uh, uranium uh, reached by centrifuge. It's uh, from point of view of economics, it's one point. But another, it's very interesting effect. If you have cheap centrifuge systems, uh, a lot of cascades, very good mathematical models for operation of these cascades, you can use. Uh, the uh, depleted uranium after diffusion of plant with content of uh, 0 0,3, 0, uh, 0,4 percent of uranium, not 0, 0,7, but 0, 0,4. Of course, uh, maybe it is, seems as not mm, practical, but you uh, can uh, 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 avoid the process of uh, mining of uranium. Very uh, uh, also expensive process for. Uh, uh, conversion of uranium to uranium hexafluoride, and plus, in, we in the world uh, have a lot of stockpiles of depleted uranium. And uh, Rosatom, for example, now has uh, this program. First of all, uh, Rosatom works with uh, Rosatom Stales in um, uh, Siberia. And uh, uh, some years ago, uh, uh, Rosatom started program for uh, uh, enrichment of uh, tails uh, uh, from uh, Germany, formerly from Germany, but if taken into account some specific market swapping system, it's uh, service uh, connected with Japan, partly with uh, some other countries. So it's, it's very interesting uh, business decision that uh, can give chance to uh, use uh, very big stockpiles of uranium hexafluoride. So, and uh, uh, next line, uh, recycling of uh, spent fuel. And uh, it is a very important point. It's related not only to uh, economics, it's uh, related to safety, related to environment, and related to uh, um, uh, public 
acceptance and uh, other things. Well, what, uh, 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 truly speaking, we have uh, uh, relatively clear history in this area. Uh, uh, we, uh, in the world, we have, uh, well, first of all, uh, high burnable fuel, so this fuel is not uh, so easy for reprocessing from point of view for radiation state, reduction of, reduction of uh, wastes. But from other hand, in any case, uh, no many countries had uh, regular commercial experience for reprocessing. France, Russia, uh, India, Japan, um, small uh, factory and uh, um, uh, new uh, plant is not fully in the operate. UK, unfortunately, UK unfortunately stopped their program. So, and in recycling, we should consider three basic tendencies. That's also my colleagues mentioned. It's uh, uh, direct disposal, uh, disposal after recycling of plutonium, and disposal after recycling of plutonium and minor, minor actinides. You can see here the uh, uh, decreasing of uh, uh, content of, not content, it's uh, uh, volume of uh, fuel and uh, waste for a far, a far repository. Uh, currently, uh, well, it's a demonstrative picture with uh, Russia, UK, uh, Japan, and uh, uh, India, some reprocessing plant, but uh, more advanced plant now uh, under operation in France. It's a classical example. I very really like this uh, picture. It's a demonstration of work of a French uh, uh, specialist to improve uh, uh, waste uh, treatment and reprocessing plant. If taken into account design of UP uh, free plant for reprocessing of light water reactor fuel, of course uh, uh, it was initially uh, uh, suggested uh, to have a lot of uh, um, different type of uh, wastes, uh, different type of uh, uh, mm, matrices, but finally they decided to, uh, um, to make uh, uh, concentration of uh, uh, medium, uh, medium level waste till high level waste and uh, to produce glasses, this orange, and uh, uh, all other things, technological waste, uh, should be compacted by pressing. Uh, and you see now the volume, volume, it is not radioactivity, of uh, 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 high level wastes uh, uh, in uh, uh, LAAC plant. In, it is less than one quarter of volume of initial um, spent fuel. It's also it's, it's good tendency. No many people knows, but um, uh, regular work in area of improvement of nuclear fuel site facility, as usual, um, can give uh, very good uh, and uh, important results. Oh, some words about recycling and uh, uh, non-proliferation. Uh, here, it's also a very important point from point of view of <laughs> point point <laughs> from point of view of the agency. Due to recycling of separated plutonium, uh, should reduce uh, risks. Uh, accumulation, uh, avoiding of accumulation of spent fuel, also should avoid risk of um, production and using of plutonium for other uh, uh, systems. So. We have, of course, some dualism in the world. Uh, some uh, states uh, decided to uh, has uh, open open uh, fuel cycle, but uh, recycling uh, can give uh, more advances uh, in comparison of uh, um, uh, direct uh, uh, disposal. It's uh, we'd like to underline very. Uh, excellent, excellent uh, experience of uh, French industry uh, on uh, recycling of uh, plutonium. Of course, initially, um, initial conception was uh, connected with fast reactors, but unfortunately, uh, national program of uh, France uh, postponed fast reactors uh, uh, now, but uh, instead of this, uh, 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 French companies Initially, Kojima, next Areva, Rana, it is a lot of new, a lot of names, <laughs> titles. Uh, they uh, uh, have uh, maybe not so advanced uh, factory, but very uh, stable production, production line for MOX fuel and take into account the um, current fleet of French reactors, uh, reactors in neighbor countries, plus very small flows uh, in Russia uh, for BM uh, 800s. Now, 
it's uh, around 5% of fresh fuel market covered by MOX. Not take into account Japanese fuel too. Yes, it is step by step, step by step, 5% it's uh, in this market. It's relatively strong line. And uh, these studies continue. Uh, uh, in France, uh, expert uh, uh, specialists try to uh, modify uh, MOX fuel in more uh, uh, advanced uh, um, fuel assemblies, fuel uh, irradiation system for uh, not one of uh, key line to increase of uh, uh, plutonium uh, loading into reactor. Russia, take into account specific of uh, there in comparison of classical PWR, uh, uh, works in area of so named remix, that is, uh, where is uranium slightly enriched, so it's combination of reprocessed uh, uh, materials, so named remix. And uh, uh, also Russia has now very strong experience to uh, recycle uh, uranium-2. Uh, initially it was developed uh, for BMK many, many years ago, then fuel after Mayak can be used uh, for RBMK production, but now it's um, more advanced, take into account some process for um, uh, re-enrichment. And uh, I can say this, uh, some words about that uh, reprocessing for recycling. Recycling now it's industrial options, it is not only research and development and uh, 40 years experience of uh, reprocessing uh, in France, uh, uh, MOX fuel, ability to load uh, till 100% of MOX fuel, uh, no, Russian program for BN 800 is some restoring of uh, MOX production in the world, and uh, um, new uh, tendency to use uh, enriched uranium for uh, thermal uh, neutron reactors. So, Vladimir, как у меня? Okay, so, uh, 10 minutes. I, uh, 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 some, I, I have a long presentation, but tomorrow I have also 45 minutes for lecture about legal instit institutional aspects, but this lecture is very brief. It's around 20 minutes only. And so uh, part of this lecture uh, will be given tomorrow. Okay, generation four. Tendency and fuel for generation four. Uh, this table, you see this table yesterday or day before. Uh, we have a number of no, six reactors. I did not include here uh, other systems. And you see uh, four reactor systems should take closed fuel cycle. One system is uh, optional uh, closed fuel cycle, uh, super, supercritical reactors. And only one uh, system uh, uh, is, considering, uh, uh, is considered without uh, closed fuel cycle. So uh, here is an uh, interesting picture where dem uh, they demonstrate what uh, temperature and what uh, uh, irradiation effect uh, uh, we have um, for materials and of course for fuels in different systems. Of course, uh, in comparison of current uh, uh, fleet of reactors, the temperature is higher, uh, 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 irradiation effect is much higher, and so we uh, should uh, have uh, some selection of new fuel. Of course, we have in history a lot of candidates, uh, uh, different type of ceramics, uh, uh, nitrates, uh, uh, additional to oxide nitrite, carbide, uh, different type of metal alloys, uh, uh, uranium, plutonium, uranium with different elements, uh, some specific system uh, with mix of uh, ceramic uh, metallic and uh, different ceramics, uh, type of, for example, plutonium with so named inert matrices, and uh, molten salt, mainly fluorides. Uh, uh, so we have this selection, but what we can uh, use uh, for realization of closed fuel cycle or fuel cycle for uh, different um, uh, generation for reactors. First of all, uh, sodium fast reactors. No, truly speaking, it's, uh, I think the key problems uh, around these reactors uh, from point of view of fuel and closed fuel cycle, in my opinion, solved. We have uh, ceramic fuels. Uh, uh, uranium, uh, you know, MOX uh, oxide, uh, MOX nitri uh, mixed nitrite, metallic uh, system, technology, aqueous technology mainly for oxide fuel that can be rea uh, realized uh, not only as separate for this fuel, but for example, uh, 
we have good experience uh, uh, in uh, uh, luck and uh, limited experience in uh, 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 ah, limited uh -huh. Okay, and limited experience uh, in uh, Mayak for reprocessing of uh, MOX fuel of fast reactors. It's sometimes it's possible to add these materials to mainstream. For example, uh, I know the history of uh, uh, reprocessing of not irradiated fuel of uh, 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 SNR 300s, and, uh, but that fuel contained high uh, uh, quantity of americium at uh, 40, oh, to 20 years uh, storage, but uh, uh, Kajima and oh, Areva completed it. So, and uh, fuel fabrication technology also exists. Uh, pellets, uh, fiber packing, uh, injections, uh, 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 melting, well, it's not, so not melting, injection casting. Uh, high, temp ah, no, no, high temperature reactor, it's last. Uh, lead cool fast reactors, also close fuel cycle, mainly ceramic. Uh, here it's uh, some specific um, of possible uh, uh, interaction of metallic fuel with uh, uh, lead or lead vismut uh, has some limitation. Also, it's possible to use aqueous process if you have a big facility, or maybe pyro process if you have no big facility for, pro for reprocessing of fuel. It's possible to uh, make uh, some process for uh, preparation. As usual, it's pellet or maybe some type of ceramic. Uh, uh, elements. Uh, uh, Gas-cooled fast reactors also has uh, the same as for other fast reactors, but uh, and here uh, more dense ceramic is usually considered. Not oxide, but nitrite, uh, well, maybe carbide in future. So, supercritical reactor. It's from point of view of fuel, it's very close to uh, uh, light water reactors. But of course, I think for uh, uh, reaching of uh, expected characteristic, it's much better to use some more advanced ceramic materials and uh, um, uh, maybe maybe uh, uh, it's uh, one of uh, the uh, line where it's possible to use vibro packing fuel. And of course, aqueous uh, process is main and uh, pyro process is one of. Uh, light or oh, uh, high temperature reactors. Of course, we can use here uranium, uranium plutonium, uranium thorium system, uranium thorium plutonium, thorium plutonium, and some other. It's, it is not, uh, uh, he, here we have very good uh, uh, things, it's very high burn up, very high burn up of fuel, and, but fuel is very complicated, and uh, um, uh, truly speaking, uh, it is not easy for reprocessing by con some conventional methods. Of course, we had uh, some uh, uh, mind games uh, around pyrochemical process of this fuel. Truly speaking, it's possible. Truly speaking, it's possible if it will be needed in future. And final line, molten salt reactors, close fuel cycle. But molten salt reactors is close fuel cycle itself. It's, uh, uh, here we cannot speak about reprocessing methods and uh, fuel fabrication methods. It's only one uh, 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 thing, it's a pyro process on site uh, with this reactor. So, some, I worked in the area of uh, implementation of vibro pack fuel many years. Unfortunately, we have not uh, win, we had not win competition with pellet due to quality control systems take into account uh, cladding bought uh, many, many years ago and uh, uh, related quality control in our facilities. But uh, this fuel for fast reactors is uh, very interesting, is more flexible. Uh, and uh, after irradiation, uh, this fuel has the similar structure as for pellet fuel. Here is our experience, I'd say this is old old uh, pictures from uh, treat experiments of uh, Oak Ridge National Laboratory. Uh, also very unique fuel, it's uh, trees of particles, it's traditional with uranium, enriched uranium dioxide, but um, in uh, the line of uh, um, accelerate uh, tolerant fuel, uh, 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 some particles with uranium nitride covered by uh, different uh, layers, uh, carbon by para, uh, paragraphite and uh, 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 carbon silicide uh, uh, also uh, can be used for uh, uh, 
high temperature reactors. So, and Vladimir, I would like to take, take uh, some words about reprocessing, advanced reprocessing. Now we, in the world, um, in main uh, reprocessing facilities, we use the name Purex process that was developed um, uh, for extraction of uh, plutonium from uh, spent fuel, oh, from military point of view. Of course, it was uh, modified, and for example, in the Mayak, uh, my colleagues works with separation of neptunium in some special line, uh, and uh, uh, this process is uh, very good established. But take into account uh, uh, some specifics uh, for, for, for example, for extraction of uh, minor actinides from one side and uh, from other side uh, tendency to have uh, uh, one flow uh, of uranium and plutonium, uh, one flow with uranium and plutonium. Uh, some methods uh, were uh, uh, developed in the world. Uh, you can see the map of this uh, aqueous uh, partitioning methods. Uh, other methods, it's uh, pyroprocessing. Uh, two years ago, uh, agency published uh, status and trends in this activity. And for example, this picture is uh, uh, one of uh, step of reprocessing of uranium plutonium zirconium or uranium zirconium alloys where is spent metallic fuel in molten chloride salts uh, can used as anodic uh, system. And uh, after dissolution, in parallel, it is uh, a continuous process, can uh, deposit as uranium uh, metal uh, uh, or, uh, and plutonium uh, can be uh, uh, also precipitated, electrodeposited electro to liquid cadmium cathode. So in that case, um, we can restore uh, 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 physical uh, property of these materials after uh, uh, future casting, uh, purification and casting. The similar approach can be used for nitride fuel due to nitride also has uh, electroconductivity, relative el electroconductivity for anodic dissolution. I worked many, many years, sorry, 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 sorry. I worked many years in um, process of uh, uh, para process for, uh, for oxide fuel. It's more complicated. It's necessary to have a process for dissolution of uranium and plutonium or spent fuel in molten salt by chlorine with presence of carbide. We use uh, some changeable uh, crucible from pyrographites, especially developed for this system. And we can produce uh, after MOX or uranium dioxide or precipitated plutonium as cathodic deposit. Here's also a very interesting effect of uranium. Uranium, is uranium dioxide is semiconductor um, uh, higher than four, four uh, uh, degrees centigrade. And so here we can uh, organize the name flat uh, uh, growth uh, crystal uh, 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 system. And uh, after that, uh, this uh, material can be uh, uh, treated uh, for removal of salt by vacuum cleaning or washing uh, and uh, after cutting uh, can be used for uh, vibro packing. Here it's my picture, I'm author of this picture, but <laughs> it was especially uh, 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 right uh, uh, 30 years ago for presentation in Japan of our process in comparison of American. It's, it was uh, my first visit was in 1992, yes, it's uh, uh, um, uh, Agnes laboratory process, cutting of metallic fuel after irradiation, pyroprocessing uh, for removal, uh, for uh, uh, extraction of uranium and plutonium, uh, casting of fuel, and uh, fuel pin productions uh, with uh, uh, layers. It's only some steps. It's only one, truly speaking, one chemical process. Uh, truly speaking, it is not uh, full-scale re reprocessing, it's restoring or uh, refabrication of uh, fuel, restoring of physical, uh, 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 physical state. And uh, the similar for oxide fuel, decladding, it's very unique uh, process for high temperature decladding, do you s still uh, have no uh, attractiveness uh, in uh, liquid form with oxide uh, fuel. And you can uh, drop uh, steel uh, separately and uh, receive fuel separately. Of course, it's relatively ex 
uh, expensive and very high temperature. Next step, uh, pyrochemical, pyro, uh, electrowinding process, uh, disso disso uh, dissolution and uh, uh, electrical, electrochemical deposition, uh, crushing of this uh, cathodic deposit, uh, uh, removal of salt, uh, and production of fuel uh, by vibroparking. So, and uh, we have uh, short brief uh, uh, closed fuel cycle with pyro process. Of course, uh, 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 we have uh, uh, some tests, not very high, but uh, with very unique fuel, for example, fuel after bore 60 with radiation, uh, with uh, burn up, uh, uh, average burn up more than 21%, 20% of <laughs> fission products. But it was possible to receive uh, materials after pyro process, and we had irradiation program uh, for some fuel pins after this uh, reprocessing. So, uh, and, uh, op, Vladimir, I, and uh, some words about activities uh, of uh, the agency in area of advanced uh, fuel cycle. Uh, we have now study completed. It's not impro, but it's uh, my colleagues in uh, uh, nuclear fuel cycle uh, section. Uh, we have uh, consideration of different approaches to fuel cycle from point of view of optim optimization, and I would like to underline namely this study. It will be published soon. Existing and advanced nuclear fuel cycle technology options for waste burden f minimization. We consider it current technology and some tendency to improve, improve, improve till full uh, partitioning and transmutation systems. I'm also uh, co-offer of this reactor. And uh, uh, last slide of my today's part. Molten salt reactor. It's a reactor and uh, fuel cycle in one unit. Uh, first of all, it's li liquid fuel, mainly fluoride uh, for uh, thermal neutron. Uh, people consider it chloride, but uh, from chemical point of view, chloride is more aggressive systems uh, from point of view of corrosion, and so it uh, would be no easy to uh, find uh, good materials and uh, find technology of um, welding of these materials. Uh, and uh, for this system, uh, next uh, secondary circuit also could be used uh, molten salt. It's molten salt uh, has a very big capacity from point of view of uh, uh, thermal accum uh, accumulation. Uh, it was a um, different uh, conception of fast reactors can uh, work as breeders, as um, incinerators, or uh, sources of uh, neutron, as we saw in um, one of uh, uh, presentations. And um, uh, actinides uh, could be uh, dissolved in this system, and uh, this system should have some online uh, chemical reprocessing. Uh, maybe um, during long period uh, it's possible to operate without full reprocessing, for example, only removal of noble gas and uh, some noble metals, and uh, add uh, some uh, fissile materials, uh, plutonium or minor actinides and so on. And to start uh, full-scale reprocessing uh, for, removing, uh, for removal of, uh, for extraction of partitioning uh, some uh, other fusion product, maybe after 10 years of operation of this reactor, maybe after 15, we have conception with uh, Livermore uh, to uh, start uh, reprocessing after 15 years of operation of plutonium uh, incinerator uh, on molten salt reactor, uh, uh, led by uh, uh, accelerator. So, and uh, I mentioned yesterday the project Synergy where we uh, uh, in the agency discuss about current uh, approaches to fuel cycle, a result of uh, current uh, research and development as um, uh, next step, and uh, uh, we're expecting of uh, some fruits of tomorrow research and development. So, uh, uh, ah, so this is last slides for today. So, and uh, of course, um, uh, the philosophy of closed fuel cycle is very uh, now has a uh, very interesting reflection. Uh, in the area of uh, United Nations system, we spoke about circular economy. But closed fuel cycle, it's really circular economy. If taken into account some uh, specific uh, uh, technology, uh, some specific idea for recycling of zirconium, 
for uh, using of uh, fission product for different uh, uh, tasks uh, for irradiation uh, sources and so on, so on, so on. Really, we have uh, one of example of uh, circular economy. Uh, next, uh, my uh, part uh, will uh, touch uh, some national policies and uh, some uh, legal aspect of uh, international uh, uh, internationalization of fuel cycle, but I will connect it these parts with my yesterday uh, tomorrow's lecture. Sorry, okay, thank you very much. my favorite subject. Thank you very much. So we have time for the questions, comments. Thank you, sir. So how much percent of the fuel is uh, recycled general, in general? In the world? Uh, in, in general. In, 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 in general? Oh, uh, in, in, a lot in, of years has been spent. How much no, no, we have it's, used? Uh, mm, now it's uh, less than 25%, but more than 20 I, I have no uh, t, uh, direct... Uh, 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 information for current situation, but for example, on the 2005, we had 25% of uh, reprocessed fuel. It's uh, taken into account uh, all flows of Viver 440 in Russia, um, uh, all Magnox uh, and partly uh, light water reactor fuel in the UK, taken into account some overseas um, uh, contract with Japan. A uh, very huge program in France, uh, French reactors, uh, from reactors from Germany, uh, old Italy systems, uh, Netherlands, uh, Belgium, partly uh, Spain, and of course German. German has uh, big programs. Uh, plus old experience of US till 1977, experience of uh, India uh, for uh, heavy water reactors, uh, and uh, limited experience of China, but uh, China now works. I, I, I will, I will spoke tomorrow about. Uh, so it's, I, I, so it's more than uh, one hundred thousand. No, 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 no. I, I will check and will uh, reply tomorrow <laughs> more <laughs> in detail. Okay, Doctor Lajje. Thank you, Vladimir. Thank you, Alexander, for your very interesting presentation. I am not an expert of this uh, fuel cycle and reprocessing, but nevertheless, I have one question. What do you think about the strategy of what we call multi-recycling of uh, plutonium in uh, light water reactors in order to delay the, I would say, to delay the development of fast reactors? Uh, no, first of all, uh, 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 I remember good lessons of uh, Massimo Salvatoris, who explained that uh, two cycles is maximum for uh, conventional uh, plutonium after light water reactors, taking into account that now we have growth of burn-up, uh, the quality of uh, plutonium dropped. Uh, but but um, I mentioned uh, here uh, some uh, studies in France and in uh, Rosatom uh, for uh, using of uh, plutonium for multi-recycling and light water reactors. Here, um, uh, it's idea to uh, decrease content of plutonium, but uh, increase of um, uh, enrichment of uranium. In that case, uh, they understood, as I'm not physic <laughs> physicist, uh, we have some uh, effect of compensation. And uh, in that case, for example, for remix fuel, we consider it as minimum four cycles possible. Uh, of course, uh, here is necessary to make uh, some corrections, and in any case, it will be not very easy uh, task uh, to, uh, truly speaking, we have uh, different plutonium <laughs> in each new uh, uh, fuel assembly after reprocessing, and uh, sometimes I worked with uh, reprocessed uh, plutonium every container has some deviation in isotopes. Sometimes, uh, especially in 41 and 40, it's uh, one or two percent of deviations. Absolute, uh, not, uh, and, and so, uh, I think uh, uh, the old conception when 
system of uh, thermal neutron reactors and fast reactors work together, uh, one recycle in uh, fast reactors and uh, two or three cycles in, well, one cycle in thermal reactors or two or three cycles in um, uh, fast reactors. In that case, we will have quasi-equilibrium uh, isotopic composition and this uh, plutonium can be used for uh, thermal uh, reactors. But it's a yeah. complicated system, it's old mm. conceptions, but it's possible. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sorry for long reply. Okay. Thank you again. I Roman. Short question, please, and short Okay. So, if you could take, take a look at the concept of the, the idea uh, as the researchers, as the uh, engineers, so the idea of uh, this cycle, uh, close cycle is brilliant, of course, but there are always other persons, uh, people who uh, enjoy uh, to break any brilliant ideas, economists. So, could you briefly provide any information about economic aspects and economic differences between closed and, and a closed cycle, because as you know, some countries accept only uh, brilliant ideas decided to, uh, decided to, um, to, uh, to use an uh, unclosed cycle. <laughs> and of course they have some reasons. Uh -huh. it's, it's, if, if short reply, uh, the uh, mm, expenses for uh, open fuel cycle and expenses for close, close fuel cycle comparable. It's the similar uh, uh, level. But uh, now we need uh, to change paradigm of uh, uh, evaluation of uh, this system. Nobody cannot understand uh, the expenses for whole cycle of control and monitoring of uh, spent fuel uh, disposal. But we have experience to work with high-level waste without uh, actinides. Here we can predict. We can predict uh, using of uh, separated materials, can predict behavior of uh, and expenses for high-level waste. But we cannot predict uh, correctly uh, all expenses for, uh, sp for open fuel cycle. Yes, yes. Unfortunately, we have no initial data for full-scale nuclear energy system assessment as I spoke yesterday. Yes, yes, but it's in a is comparable. So we are coming back from fuels where energy is